Have you ever felt like you set amazing goals and plans, but somewhere along the way, <laughs> life gets in the way and staying consistent just feels so impossible. But whether you're a busy mom or a wife or just someone trying to just balance it all, you're not alone. And today we're going to dive into some practical tips on how you can actually stay consistent and reach your goals without feeling burned out. So the very first three tips I do want to share with you guys is first, just start small. Begin with manageable goals that fits easily into your routine to avoid feeling overwhelmed. And then also create a routine. Establish a consistent schedule that incorporates your goals into daily life, making them a natural part of your day. And then the third tip is use accountability. So share your goals with someone like either a family or a friend or your husband, your spouse, to keep you motivated and accountable as you work towards your objectives. So this is the best thing that you could ever do and it will help you stay consistent. But now I want to get into the practical part of it because oftentimes we're like, oh, we get the tips, we get the advice, but what does this look like? So I'm going to walk you guys through it. And honestly, it's going to be straight to the point. And so we're going to actually use one of the sheets out of the Purposeful Woman workbook, something that you guys have seen on my channel. And we're going to use this as our, our template. So first, let's start off with, I'm going to act like this is me. And I'm going to explain everything. So say my first goal is to strengthen my relationship with God. So I'm going to put strengthen, and I'm going to abbreviate y'all relationship with God but here's the kicker when it comes to you setting your goal it's important for you to know your why why do you want to set this goal so I'm gonna put my little mark here I'm gonna put it actually for all of them and this is going to be where we're gonna write underneath our why why do we want this goal because it's important here's the reason why when you don't know your why, it's imp it's almost impossible for you to reach it because everything that you do, when you know your why, you have clarity. Oftentimes, it's not that we just lack motivation. We lack clarity. We don't know where to go, right? So when we know our why, this will help us get there. So my why would be my relationship with God grounds me spiritually. It helps me stay aligned. So I'm just going to put abbreviate this and put help me stay aligned align with the holy spirit all right with his will align stay aligned with his will all right y'all excuse me because <laughs> i'm doing this in real time so when it comes to getting to that designated place right or even just maintaining that that place there are some things that we must do which is create action steps so some things that i could do is here and I'm going to do this so to help me but we're going to put daily prayer time daily prayer so I can set aside 10 minutes to get this done in the morning or the evening for my dedicated time and then also keeping a designated place I like to use my purposeful woman workbook to track everything and I will actually insert a clip right here so you can see what I mean by tracking everything all in one spot but this is where I can track. So I want to get a tracker. And again, I'm abbreviating this, y'all, when I'm writing it down. But I'm speaking thoroughly so that way you guys get straight to the point. So the next thing would be creating a Bible study plan. So creating a Bible study plan. So let's do Bible study. And I'm going to squeeze it up under there. But Bible study plan. And one thing I can do with this is read a chapter a day. So one chapter per day and then write down my key verse or you know, reflections stuff like that so let me see i will because uh, i was trying to think of how i could abbreviate that so, so we're just gonna write write just key verse so write key verse in there or or reflect and i'm gonna put like my sign in the workbook each day then the next thing would be another action step would be a weekly devotional check-in so I'm going to abbreviate weekly Devo check-in. And then something that I could do, an action step that I could do underneath it is dedicate maybe one day a week to deeper devotional study or a group Bible study. So one day, week, deeper study. All right. Then the next thing I could do up underneath this is 
reflect on my progress because here's the thing if you don't know what's working what's not working or even making sure that you're retaining what you're reading so you can live out what you're reading then you may find yourself just kind of like uh, you know so it's good to know reflect on progress where you are if you're retaining what you're reading so that is an example right there right for a strength in a relationship now if we were to go a little more in depth if i made it more relatable actually talk about this because this is obviously something that it is personal to me but i can honestly say that i have set a goal to draw closer to god and i do that by starting with small consistent actions like prayer bible reading and reflection so in the morning time i'm no longer i definitely plan out when i'm gonna do these things but i definitely make sure i set aside time in the morning to at least get in my devotional and get in prayer and then maybe in the evening because i'm more i have more time the kids are asleep things are more quiet then i can actually get into a deeper study so that's that's something that's more relatable to me even though i am like you know using this for an example for me but that is something more in depth now the second goal is to improve my time management right so let's put improve time management and i'm doing this again so you guys can see what this look like and i know when you see something repetitively then you actually like i get it now and that's what i want you guys to do i want you guys to get it so well again when we get into that you want to make sure you know what your why is so you want to make sure that when it comes to your time management this allows you to be present you want to be more present with your kids your husband your family what have you so that's your why now what's gonna come with this is i'm gonna need number one my first action that i'm gonna need to do is create a daily schedule a daily schedule daily routines so with this being said, you're going to want to block out time. So you're want to you're going to want to do some time blocking. So time blocking. And all of this stuff which is so funny, but all of this stuff actually does come in the purposeful woman workbook, by the way. Just to put that out there. But you also want to block out time for your family when it comes to creating your daily schedule and then you also want to create some routines so we're just gonna put that abbreviate that so you want to create some routines the next thing is you want to set your three priorities per day so since here yeah, in so that way i have to keep doing it so three priorities per day and again abbreviation so you want to list top three of your priorities for your both your work your family and all of that stuff but you also want to keep it visible because here's the thing if it's out of sight it's out of mind you want to keep it visible this will help you be able to and here let me give you guys an example because i, I want to make sure that you guys are actually getting this but a way that you could keep this visible is also writing it in your workbook in your planner but also setting reminders on your phone you always have your phone at some point of the day so that's a way that you can keep it visible by using Liner's app if you have the iPhone or some type of other widget that you can put on the home screen. But you can you keep it visible or use a sticky note. Place them at some place that you see every single day. You brush your teeth every day. You can put a sticky note on your mirror. So keep it visible. This is going to help you for sure and then you want to review and i talk about this in other videos but review and adjust and you want to do this weekly so you can dedicate time on sunday saturday sunday so we're gonna put dedicate time saturday or sunday to do this and then you need to adjust so make the adjustments that that you need in order to be more present that's going to allow you to be more present and what i like about this is honestly y'all when it comes to even using this as an example this helps you be more effective in your time if you want to be consistent with planning you got to make sure that you schedule time to plan schedule time to check in updates schedule time to view what's working what's not working and make the adjustments all of this stuff actually plays 
into even though this is time management but it actually plays into being consistent with your plans and your goals so you want to do those things i, I really like that one <laughs> i'm thinking about it so this will help you and stay on track without getting overwhelmed but the next thing is let's say i want to make this even more per personal so i want to make sure that i'm helping tons and tons of women on youtube wives moms because again i didn't get to see that so I want to be able to be like your source, a place where people can go to, to get that help that they need from, even from a biblical standpoint. So that would be you know, grow my YouTube channel. So grow YouTube community. And I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. Now for me, right, my why would be, again, to just kind of shorten it. My why would be to be able to reach more women, reach, help other women that relate need help you need ideas and so i want to be that you help you with that right so here's some things that i could do for this goal and again y'all <laughs> this is just example but here let me okay so plan content in advance and i was gonna in advance and then some way that i can do this is outline videos right outline my videos and then videos and then give deadlines outline my videos for an example right another thing is create a posting schedule so a posting schedule and i definitely try to stick to it i don't promote it anymore because sometimes things do come up with my my babies i definitely try to make sure that i'm at least posting two if not two two to three videos a week right but i can choose one to two videos this is just an example per week right and then also write, so plan it out, plan in calendar. I'm just trying to figure out how ways I can abbreviate this. So plan in calendar. The next thing is you track my analytics and adjust. So track analytics. Y'all hear Naomi? <laughs> They're supposed to be asleep, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is my work time during the nap time, but hey, we're going to still keep going. So monitor video performance. So I'm gonna put monitor video performance. Another thing that I can do is reflect on what worked. So there are some times where I have faced moments of doubt in my content, whether it was worth the effort, but I, I still realize that when I stay consistent, plant, do what I'm supposed to do, it's still rewarding to me to just, even when I've gotten just uh, one view which i've always gotten over more than one view but it lets me know that i'm it's getting out to somebody and it's helping somebody there's plenty of times where i felt like you know, why does this even worth you doing because my channel is not reaching people it's not i don't feel like it's really helping people i was always thinking that my engagement and my comments was letting me know like, it's really helped them but all the time that doesn't mean that it's not helping somebody my thing is i just want it to help get out there even if it's to one woman to one wife to one mom it helps them or it makes them think about some things and sometimes they can't just automatically respond right then and there right so I had to think about that, but it it fuels. I've seen growth and engagement, but that's what fuels my passion for sharing these topics. You being productive, helping you ladies just figure out how to uh, do the things that God calls you to do, and be a wife, be a mom. So as I'm learning and the things I've learned from the past, and things that you know, I've learned over the years, and things that I continue to learn, I want to share that information and so with that being said with that being said i want you guys to remember staying consistent doesn't mean perfection it's about just taking small intentional steps you can just trusting that god is guiding you along the way and i hope that these tips inspire you to stay on track and find joy in your journey but don't forget to pray, plan, and produce. And if you found this video helpful at all, please like it, share it, and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all so much and be blessed. Bye. I can trust in you. Trust in you.